weird to see the angels here? No. I'm over it. No. Yeah, I've just, you know, you see Albert or Trouty, you, yeah. you, you miss the guys, Cole and Upton, and, you know, just the friendships you get, you know, yeah. over the years. But the actual, you know, being a Dodger now, I'm a Dodger. Yeah. So. You always were. That's right. Once, were once a Dodger, always a Dodger. They were just renting. Yeah, there you go. My time with the Angels was, uh, was great. Uh, we were in the playoffs a lot, uh, being on Mike Sosha's staff with Ron Renneke and Buddy Black and Joe Madden and Alfredo Griffin, Mickey Hatcher. For me, it was like uh, just a dream come true because I was familiar with those guys, uh, knew them in the Dodger organization. And uh, being in the big leagues and uh, being an Angel uh, meant a lot. And uh, we had some uh, successful seasons. That's a base hit. Uh -oh. Evil's going to send him home. Dino Ebel spent 13 seasons on the Angels coaching staff, spending time as both bench coach and third base coach. Gorgeous being away from around, and safe at the plate! Light that baby up! In two of the seasons Ebel spent in Anaheim, the Angels finished with baseball's best record. Well, uh, we had an incredible coaching staff, and uh, I think the thing about Dino was he could sit in a room with Joe Madden, Buddy Black, Ron Renneke, and uh, Alfredo Griffin, and and just talk baseball all day long and, and bring up some tremendous points that had an impact on the Angel organization when we were there. You know, Dina brings energy day in and day out, and, uh, you know, the players feed off of it. And, you know, we're, when he was here, man, that, that's what guys, guys uh, looked at Dino for was that, that positive energy and that, that spark. He's got a vast knowledge of this game, and to have him for 13 seasons uh, was, was uh, you know, makes your job easier as a manager when you have such talent in your coaching staff. One of the best, one of the best coaches, one of the best mentors I've ever been around. Really helped me with my game. There you go, six. It, it's tough seeing him over there, but uh, I'm not happy for him. He likes it over there. Just uh, happy, you know, ran through him in, in my path and my career. A lot of mutual friends always had a lot of great things to say about him and his uh, baseball intelligence, how this guy is such a student of the game and always learning, but also a great teacher. So when we uh, lost Woody to Texas, he was an easy fit. As much as he brings to the coaching staff, uh, Dave Roberts, Bob Guerin, all these guys have to be happy that Dino's on the staff. Got done. <laughs> I'm good, man. I feel great. I almost call you with a break and I'm like, see you freaking throwing in the home run derby. Gosh, you can... like, what the freak? Yeah, man. Jock did a great job. Oh, did they change the rule? Because I seen you just slow him. They know when the ball cleared like the fence, the guy would, yeah. So it's not hit and then throw. Really? So they, they sped it hard, up a little. Though. Oh, yeah. We've been friends for almost 15 years, uh, Dino and I. And, uh, you know, I think uh, for me, uh, besides the coaching and the job that he does on the field is the relationship that, that we have built off the field. You know, we always send in tests and, and wish you luck and, and always checking in. Are you gonna pull that trick again to pick me up? <laughs> that ain't me. I think, you know, when, whenever that opportunity comes, Dino also is gonna be not just a great third base coach or bench coach like he has in the past, but I think he's gonna be a, a great manager too whenever that time comes too. I've been with the Angel organization for 14 years, 13 at the major league level. Those are memories that, you know, in the back of my mind all the time, and, and it's, uh, it's just an experience that you can't, you can't forget. That was awesome. Nice job.